Now, a few weeks ago, I did a video where we discussed three benefits as to why you should consider looping to a click track. And you guys seem to thoroughly enjoy that video. So I showed you how you could set up record counting modes and metronomes and stuff with the Boss RC505. You can check this video out over here. But I thought I'd finally show you how to set it up with the Boss RC300 because it's actually not very similar to the Boss RC505. There's quite a lot of difference between the two devices. Hey, what's up? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, I'm Ben Rollins and this channel is all about live looping up. No three videos just like this every single week. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the counting modes on the Boss RC300. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to dive into the system settings and we're going to scroll over to the right. And we're going to go to this rhythm out options here. So with the rhythm out option, basically on the Boss RC300, we have our left and right main stereo output. We then have a headphone jack output, and then we have a sub out output. Now the main problem with the Boss RC300 is the fact that the main out is linked to the headphone out. With the Boss RC505, you can route certain things to your headphones that the audience isn't going to hear, and then you can route certain things to the master stereo left and right out. However, with the Boss RC300, for some reason they decided to basically, whatever you hear in your headphones is exactly what the audience is going to hear, which is just pretty bizarre. I don't, I don't really see why that is a feature. So instead they decided to implement a sub output, which is cool. We can do some cool things with the sub output, but it makes it pretty irritating to try and route stuff to your headphones. It, it's just, it makes it too complicated for no reason. So basically in order to separate this rhythm track so we can kind of run it as a metronome click track, we are going to have to run it through the sub output. We can't run it out of the headphone output that is just what we've got to deal with. So what we're going to do is in this system setting here, we are going to change the output mode to sub. Now the reason we're going to do it in the system setting is so we don't have to do it every single time. If we left it on memory, it means we would have to change it per memory bank in the memory edit settings. So we're going to do it on the system settings so it's global and we don't have to repeat this step. Now we've set this up, we're gonna head into our rhythm settings here. Now this is where we can select our drum beat. You'll now hear the drum beat is playing out of the sub out. Basically, this is how Michael Jackson clearly wrote all of his tracks. With the badass drum beats on the Boss RC300. So, we are super happy with that drum beat. We're gonna scroll over to the right. We can then change the time signature. And this is where the interesting stuff happens. So we have this option called record count. Now the record count basically allows us to have a little bit of a cue before we initialize record on the loop pedal. Now this works totally different to how it works on the Boss RC505. On the Boss RC505, we have the option to have a drumstick click, so it goes one, two, three, four, and then it starts recording. However, on the RC300, it plays uh, the rhythm track without any cue, so there's no separation, so it sounds like this. We turn it on, we have the cue flashing, and then it starts recording, but as you can hear, the cue is basically the drum beat we're gonna be playing to, so there's no separation between the two, so this could potentially become quite confusing for you if you're not looking directly at the pedal at that little cue light. So this is quite a con compared to the Boss RC505. So the next setting we're going to take a look at is the play count. Now play count works exactly the same as record count, however it's for playing loops. So basically if you have any pre-recorded loops like we now have here, or you've loaded in any samples onto the Boss RC505 via the USB, so this will basically allow you to play them back and have a little bit of a tempo cue before they actually kick in. So in case you've forgotten how fast they were, uh, you can just have a little bit of a refresher. So if you were hoping to loop to a click track with the Boss RC300, you may have a few issues. Now if we jump back into the rhythm edit and we go to our pattern options here, 
Basically, there's no option for a metronome. However, on the Boss RC505, we have two metronome options. We've got metronome one and metronome two. But here, we, we don't have any metronomes. If we scroll through the menu, we have loads of different genre drum grooves and stuff like that, but no official metronome in the drum patterns here. So the closest we can kind of get to is, I would say, this hi-hat here. So it sounds a little bit like this. So that is the best we're probably going to get in regards to a metronome. Now the next problem that comes in if you're wanting to leap to a metronome is the stop options for the rhythm track. So if we scroll over to the right towards the end, we have the rhythm stop modes. Now on the Boss RC300, there are three rhythm stop modes. However, on the Boss RC300, there are only two. Now the first one is off. So basically we click play and then the drum track starts, and then as we click stop on our loop, it's also going to stop the rhythm track. The second mode is record end. So basically, if we record a loop, it's gonna record count, it's then gonna record our loop, and then when we initiate playback, it's going to stop the rhythm track. Now the third setting, which you can only get on the Boss RC505, basically allows you to have independent control of this rhythm track. So despite whether your tracks, loop tracks are playing back, they're stopped or they're recording, this will still play. And the only way to stop it is to literally turn it off with this button here. Now I'm kind of thinking after doing this video that it's probably time to do another Boss RC505 versus the Boss RC300, but we'll compare some of the more advanced features. Let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see that here on the channel.